to the Kafkas, you guys. We're back again, and today's topic is Marcos Alonso, all of our favorites topics. So, before we get started, hit the like button, subscribe, because you are going to enjoy this, and comment below, okay? Do me that massive favor. Tell me, do you think Marcos Alonso is good enough to be our first choice left back? Here we go. Marcos Alonso joined us in the first year of Conte from Fiorentina. It's a time when we desperately needed a left wing back. The club was aggressively pursuing the signing of Alexandro, but as always, we are always imminent to signing someone or inquiring to sign someone or we're monitoring someone. We never actually go and put the money on the table. And when we actually decided to put the money on the table, Juventus used it as a sign of weakness because they knew we were playing hardball. So they said, no, we're not going to sell him. So we got Marcos Alonso. When he first came in, he was an interesting player. We were so used to having Aspilicueta on the left-hand side, a right-back playing at left-hand side and always cutting in and doing the safe option of passing backwards because he had no left foot. So now actually having a left-footed wing-back was a new dimension to us. What strengths did he show when he initially joined? He showed a decent cross, something we didn't have. So his crossing looked amazing straight away from the outset. He takes a very good free kick. We can give him that. He also anticipates those late runs like a Frank Lampard, if you know what I mean. He's always on the end of something. But, like, there's always buts with him. Alonso is not the type of player you would build a championship team about. Yeah, you're going to say we won a championship with him. But I don't think he was integral. I think he was more of a passenger. And the formation and the structure of the team was very systematic. So, like, the left wing back and the right wing back were systematic players. They didn't have to be outstanding players for us to win that championship. Granted, his goals and assists attributes for the club have been phenomenal from any left back or left wing back. But here are some of my issues with Marcos Alonso and why I don't think he is good enough to be our first choice left back. Number one, goals and assists are predominantly looked for in wingers, strikers and midfielders. I don't need my full back being able to assist and get so many goals all the time. I need him to be primarily good at defending. That is his main objective, which Marcus Alonso is not. His positioning on a one-on-one is terrible. He never gets tight enough. He always gets ripped based on his physical attributes, such as his pace. He can't keep up with a pacey winger. Whenever the winger gets a ball with him one-on-one, he beats him every time. That's without fail. This year, even Smina beat him. To this day now, I'm still looking for who is this Smina because I've never heard of him before that. So, because he lacks pace, he compensates, he hangs back. But because he hangs back, they've got enough time to pick their head up, look up. Oh, there's players there. And drill crosses in consistently against us. He causes us so many problems doing that. Then, when he's attacking in the final third, he is very, very predictable in what he wants to do. He wants to play a 1-2, let the ball go to the right-hand side and go into the box like he's a striker. He's always out of position in that sense. That's why he's always on the end of stuff. More importantly, because of his movement and his knack to want to come infield all the time, he's affecting Eden Hazard, our best player. We need a left back who's going to be more stuck to the chalk line. He's going to be stuck on that left-hand side, waiting for the ball, getting the ball, being able to go past the player. Marcus Alonso can't go past the player. That's what people don't understand. He can't get to the byline by himself and cross the ball. Then, I don't know what has occurred with his crossing recently. His crossing for the last 18 months has been terrible. This guy can't hit the first man. He's either overhitting him or underhitting him. Or he's just blasting him across goal with no opportunity for anyone to even jump in. Every single time he gets the ball within the edge of the area when the cross is on, he takes a pot shot. Or, instead of trying to rebuild the attack, he just shoots. The guy is very selfish. The most irritating thing for me... Marcos Alonso is the lack of urgency in his play when we lose the ball because the left hand side is always attacking so much and he's always so high up I'm expecting him to break his neck to run back sprint back he never sprints the guy's always jogging he's always jogging back it's like he expects people to cover for him and that makes Louise look isolated and vulnerable because Louise has to come out to that left-hand side. And all of a sudden, the defense is shifting across. And it's all because of one player. This doesn't occur as much when Emerson plays. Emerson's always running back. He always deals with his problems. Alonso jogs back. I hate it. This isn't one of those 
I hate Alonso videos. This is literally a deep analysis of why the reasons I don't think he's good enough to be our first choice left back. In this system, we need a left back that's going to be producing the goods. He's going to get the best out of our best player, Eden Hazard. Emerson clearly does that. Alonso doesn't. Alonso's attitude stinks as well. He's an entitled player. He feels like he's better than he actually is. There's so many times he's always trying to win free kicks by diving like an idiot when it's not on in his own box, holding his head, faking it. The other day, sulking when Luis's pass went over his head, getting booked stupidly. There's no need to be like that. He is lucky to be playing for Chelsea because he's not technically good enough to be playing for Chelsea. So, like I said, this isn't a hate video, but if you liked it, like, comment and subscribe. Follow me on Twitter, guys, and hit that bell notification button. Once again, comment below saying whether you think he's good enough to play for Chelsea. Do you think I was too harsh on Marcus Alonso? And more importantly, if you could improve on him and it's not em Emerson, who would you sign to improve on the player? There we go, guys. You just got the Kafka's view. Now I want to hear your view. I'm out. See you later.